welcome back to class so today we'll be looking at how to calculate our tape measure and this is what i mean by tape measure this is very much important when you are drafting anything pattern when you're cutting for a tailor or a fashion designer this is very much important without this you cannot make dress you cannot cut or measure your client so we're going to look at how to calculate your measurement tape now this is the uh, measurement tape i'm trying to draw out on the board something like this so I'll continue taking it and I will teach us how they derive on all this number. So we are five now. I'll start taking the numbers. This is six. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's continue. This is seven. This is eight. And this is nine. So our body we're just able to contain nine numbers on our tape measure. But don't forget our tape measure. Stop at 60 and we have the one for 120 as much as we have for 160 we have the one for 120 this one is 120 that is from 1 to 120 this is 1 to 120 and this is 1 to 60 but for our level we'll be looking at from 1 to 60 but i just want to make us understand the reason why we're trying to take to learn how to take how to use the measurement state now how to use the measurement state, um we have um decimal points when we are taking dividing our fraction for our clients let's assume that the waist of my clients is 27 and don't forget that i said your waist is usually divided by four that's why we call it waist circumference circumference means something that is going from the back to the front a round measurement is waist circumference now i want to divide our 27 by 4 when we divide 27 by 4 we'll be having 26 divided by 4 is 6.5 so 27 divided by 4 is 6 point, 6 point 6 okay um 26 divided by 4 we have 6.5 so we'll divide 27 by 4 we're having 6.75 that's what we have now you can't get you can only get this on your calculator but you cannot get it on your measurement tape that is why i'll be teaching us on how to use how to get this on our measurement tape let's go back to the let's go back to the measurement tape if you look if you count with me i have one two three four five six seven eight and eight decimal numbers make up one inch on your tape measure on your measure so i'll be using my green marker to calculate it for us so we have one this is one this is two this is three this is four this is five this is six and this is seven and this is eight so we have one two three four five six seven eight so let's go how let's calculate on how to use it so let's go to our number one our number, we have one all over eight why how do i have how do i get one over eight one all over this eight this one all over this eight, the total of this number the total of eight decimal small smaller numbers make up one so one all over eight if you divide it you have 0 0.125 let's take up the two again two all over this eight so we have two all over eight you have 0 0.25 let's take three again three all over this eight so you have three all over eight that is three point zero point three seven five you have four four all over this eight so four all over eight you have zero point five so we have five let's go to five five all over this eight we have five all over eight that is zero point six Two five. So we have six all over this eight. 
So 6 all over 8, we have 0 0.75. We have 7 all over 8. 7 all over 8, we have 0 0.875. And we have 8 all over 8. So our 8 all over 8 equals to 1. I don't know if you understand. If you divide 1 by 8, you have 0 0.125. If you divide 2 by 8, you have 0 0.25. 0 0.25. You divide 3 by 8. This is how, so when you divide all by 8, this will give us 1. So when you calculate, when you count all these numbers, here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, you have 1 inch. So all the numbers on your tape measure, let's show us, let me show it on our tape rule so you understand what I'm talking about. All the numbers I have here, look at my tape measure. All the numbers I have here make up one inch all the numbers i have here make up two inch all the numbers i have here make up let's count one for three we have one two three four five six seven eight so all the stones are making up for also for three so let's look at how can we get 6.5 on our measurement tape now I cut my I cut a fabric for a client and when our hip is 20, our waist is 27 divided by 4, I have this. Please, there's no assumption when it comes to tailoring. There is no assumption. Please don't assume. Don't say because I don't have 7.5 on my measurement tape, then I'm going to assume. So I don't want you to assume that's so why I'm teaching you how to read the measurement tape. Now let's look at what where we can get 0.75. Now if you look at our calculation, our decimal calculation here. Our 0 0.75 is where? Under 6 all over 8. So all we need to do is to say this one, to get it on my tape measure, my measurement tape, I'm going to be using 6, 6 all over 8. That means if I go to the board now, this is my 6 and this is the 6. This is the 6 and this is the 6. So where do I get 6 all over 8? I'm going to be, I'll count it. 1, 2, 3, 4, five six one two three four five six so this is where my measurements will stop when i'm using my tape measure so when i use my tape measure on my tape rule this is my six this is my six this is my six and i will count my other six all over eight which is one two three four five six and that is what we have there so if I'm placing my measurement tape on my fabric, it will end here. So that's how we calculate our tape measure. If you have any question for me, just send it to me and I'll answer. Thank you and God bless.